The following is a project supported through the Canadian Agri-Safety Applied Science Program, administered by Agrivita Canada. Take a break from the shake. Farm Machinery Operator Interventions. Farm machinery can expose operators to several hazards, including vibration, bumps, and jolts. This vibration is tough on a farmer's back and hips, but it can also impact balance, reaction time, and the brain's ability to process information. This can ultimately contribute to more accidents on the farm, such as falls from machinery and even collisions. As producers, you need to operate farm machinery, often for long periods of time. There's no way to completely eliminate hazards in agriculture, but there are ways to reduce your risk of exposure and injury when spending long days operating machinery. The aim of this project is to develop a series of guidelines for interspersing agricultural machinery operation with effective activity breaks. The proposed activities will be applicable across all machinery-related agricultural tasks and will help maximize the health and performance of workers while minimizing work interruptions. The first step in this project was to evaluate the effect of whole body vibration on the back and more specifically on the spine. Pig spine segments were used to model the human spine in these lab simulations. After being exposed to realistic vibration conditions, the pig spine segments were examined using high resolution imaging to look at the structure of the spine for damage. The research team at the University of Saskatchewan's ergonomics lab then wanted to determine what kind of rest breaks activities provide the greatest benefit to operators. An in-lab vibration rest break intervention study was conducted using a six-axis hexapod vibration system known as a rotopod. Agricultural producer participants were exposed to field accurate vibration profiles in the tractor simulator. After one hour of simulated farming, participants were asked to perform one of four rest break activities for five minutes. Activities included sitting quietly in the cab, gaze stabilization exercises, guided stretches, or simply taking a walk around the lab. The effectiveness of the rest break activities was determined by measuring the participants' reaction time, balance, and musculoskeletal discomfort both before and after the tests. An application previously tested in mining environments is also being tested for use on smart devices to help farmers monitor their vibration exposure levels. Once installed, this app uses the smart device's existing technology to measure whole body vibration, allowing farmers to monitor their exposure levels. The information provided will then help farmers determine how frequently breaks should be taken to mitigate negative health effects. The device must be placed between the operator's thigh and the tractor seat to provide adequate data. The vibration app will be tested in the lab against standard accelerometers using the vibration platform. Preliminary results from the in-lab studies show that any activity during a five-minute break was sufficient to maintain reaction time to baseline levels. Activities that included gaze stabilization exercises combined with stretches or a walk even showed trends toward actually improving the slowest reaction times. In addition to the in-lab controlled vibration exposure, the research team wanted to test the rest break interventions in a realistic on-farm environment. However, before jumping in the cab with operators, portable field-worthy instruments had to be validated. A new force plate was acquired to measure postural sway directly in the field. The portable force platform was validated against the laboratory gold standard and provided consistent and correct results. For the field tests, members of the research team accompany farm machinery operators during their daily routine. The main goals of these tests are to observe actual in-field operator habits and to apply the laboratory findings to real-life situations. The Vibration app will also be validated under field conditions by taping smart devices directly to the seat. The field study will provide insight on the practicality and feasibility of the rest break interventions evaluated in the lab. Preliminary tests have been completed, 
but additional tests will be conducted in the final year of the project. Lab and field data are being analyzed and preliminary results are promising. The laboratory study showed that activity breaks improved reaction time following vibration exposure. Initial observational data from field tests show that operators can take breaks, so it should be easy to integrate the suggested activities. The results from this project will be used to produce a series of guidelines and recommendations for farm machinery operators. With feasible and practical strategies, operators will be able to take small and enduring steps to reduce vibration exposure and improve workplace health. Please visit our website for more information on all the projects of the Canadian AgriSafety Applied Science Programme.